Some 180 million years ago, the supercontinent of Gondwana split. One of the breakaway landmasses from that separation contained what would become Australia and Antarctica. By 30 million years ago, Australia had separated and journeyed north on its own. Since then, changes in land formation and climate, and the physical separation from the rest of the world, led to the unique flora and fauna that we know in Australia today. More than 80% of our plants, mammals, reptiles, and frogs are unique to Australia and are found nowhere else in the world. Some of our Australian animals are very well known, like kangaroos, dingoes, wallabies, and wombats, and of course the koala, platypus, and echidna. But there is still so much we don't know about Australia's native animals. Many people wonder why, despite the continent's natural diversity, Australia does not have a big cat of its own. In this video, we will try to answer this question. Before we begin, make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more amazing videos. With that being said, let's begin! Australia is so different from the rest of the world because it's geographically isolated. It broke off from the supercontinent Gondwana 99 million years ago and has been doing its own thing ever since. That's why it has so many marsupials compared to everywhere else. It was only in the Pleistocene that placental mammals were able to come over from Southeast Asia as the continent drew closer to Indonesia and then only bats and rats. So why no big cats though? Well, the most likely possibility is a lack of suitable prey. There are not a lot of large animals on Australia to begin with and what few exists are very hard to bring down. There used to be actual megafauna there and large predators to go with them, but they died out after humans arrived on the continent around 65,000 years ago. So, if any big cats ever tried to come over from Asia, they probably couldn't establish a foothold on the continent. First because of the local competition, and then because of the lack of food. The niche of large carnivores was also occupied by marsupials. One notable example was that the Thylacolio carnifex, which died out 46,000 years ago, reached the size of a small lion. Thylacolio carnifex, also known as the marsupial lion, is an extinct species of carnivorous marsupial mammal that lived in Australia from the early to the late Pleistocene. Individuals ranged up to around 75 centimeters or 30 inches high at the shoulder and about 150 centimeters or 59 inches from head to tail. Measurements taken from several specimens show they averaged 101 to 130 kilograms or 223 to 287 pounds in weight. Although individuals as large as 124 to 160 kilograms or 273 to 353 pounds might not have been uncommon, this would make it comparable to female lions and female tigers in general size. The animal was extremely robust, with powerfully built jaws and very strong forelimbs. It possessed retractable claws, a unique trait among marsupials. This would have allowed the claws to remain sharp by protecting them from being worn down on hard surfaces. The claws were well suited to securing prey and for climbing trees. The marsupial lion's limbs proportions and muscle mass distribution indicate that, although it was a powerful animal, it was not a particularly fast runner. Paleontologists conjecture that it was an ambush predator, either sneaking up and leaping upon its prey or dropping down on it from overhanging tree branches. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.